thank you very much for coming out in support of the oppressed people of Gaza. As we speak, the Zionist criminals have already murdered 1,924 Palestinians since July the 8th. That includes 80% of civilians. That includes 433 children. We believe killing women, children, and the elderly is not only wrong, it is not only unjust, it is a war crime. And these war criminals sitting in Tel Aviv need to be brought before the International Criminal Court to face the crimes that they are committing against the Palestinian people. We also believe that those that are enabling these war criminals, whether it is the regime in Washington, D.C., or the regime in Ottawa, or the regime in London, England, or in Paris, or in any other capital city, also need to be brought before the International Criminal Court to face international justice for aiding and abetting genocide in Gaza. We believe that any government or any regime that attacks civilian populations, that attack schools, that attacks mosques, that attacks hospitals, is a criminal regime. And as the previous speaker said, yesterday there were millions of people that, are, that marched around the world in support of Gaza. We have certain very specific demands. And these are that not only should the war on Gaza be ended, but we insist that the horrible siege, the illegal siege of Gaza must be lifted immediately. The 1.8 million Palestinians in Gaza are living in the largest open-air prison. This siege must end immediately. We also say that this criminal regime in occupied Palestine, the Zionist regime, should be quarantined. An embargo should be imposed against the Zionist regime because it is killing innocent civilians. We insist that an arms embargo and a trade embargo must be imposed against this regime until it stops its illegal occupation. Brothers and sisters, as James said, we don't know where the start of this rally is or the end of this rally is. And more and more people are coming and joining this rally. I also want to mention to you that the supporters of the Zionist regime even in our last rally two weeks ago, they attacked two of our participants, a woman and a friend of hers, and they badly beat them up right here in the streets of Toronto. The Zionist criminals are perpetrating war crimes in occupied Palestine, and their supporters are bringing violence to the streets of Toronto. And I think it is important that we understand the violent nature of these criminals. But we have to remain peaceful. We have to march in solidarity with the Palestinian people. And also, brothers and sisters, you know those people that are standing on the other side, we are certain that they've been financed by the, by the consulate of the Zionist regime. Right here, you have come, you have come at your own expense. You have come out because you believe in peace and justice. 
Thank you very much for coming and expressing your solidarity with the people of Gaza. May God bless you and may you remain steadfast and firm on the path of truth and justice and peace. Thank you.